all the participants and the panelists, resource persons of this uh, uh, session. Dr. Mesli, you are not audible. Yeah, the voice is not clear. It is breaking. Uh, I think the microphone is okay. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Okay. Uh, good evening, all of you, and uh, good uh, welcome to this session. Um, all the participants, the panelists, the resource person of this uh, today's session. I am Dr. Maitri. As I am working as additional director at Staff Training and Research Institute of Distance Education, that is called Stride at, in Igno. So, uh, first of all, I congratulate Dr. Pandey for initiating this uh, uh, along with uh, SEMCA. He has uh, conducted this uh, um, training program. Um, many, I think uh, this is a fourth or fifth run of this uh, kind of program. So, congratulations to you also, Dr. Pandey. And um, so, I request all the participants kindly participate in the discussion forum as well as the, con the content which we have developed for this course is very rich and go through it and then kindly participate in all the aspect of this course and all the best to you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Maitli. Uh, now I request uh, Harsh Vardhanji uh, to introduce himself. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, this is uh, Harsh Vardhan Pan. Assistant Professor at Amrapali Group of Institute, Haldwani. First of all, I am very thankful to Honorable Professor O.P.S. Negi, sir, uh, Professor Jitendra Pandey, and respected dignitaries that they have given me opportunity to share my uh, views in the open discussion forum of this wonderful course program of MOOC, that is Development of Online Course for SWAM. As we know, the development of online course for SWAM involves several steps and consideration to ensure the course are effective, engaging, and accessible. The first step to identify the subject area and topics that need to be covered. This is done based on the requirement of the target audience and the objective of the course. Once the topic is identified, subject matter experts are identified to develop the course content. The course content is developed in a structured manner and is designed to be uh, in designed to be uh, it, it, attractive and engaging. This may in, um, this may include text, video, images, and other multimedia elements. The content is then reviewed and revised by other subject matter experts to ensure accuracy and completeness. Once the content is finalized, it uploaded onto the SWAM platform where it is made available to the target audience. The course are designed to be self-placed and learners can access them at any time from anywhere. This is very important. Learners can also interact with instructor and other learners through discussion forum and other online platforms. The development of online course for SWAM also involves ensuring that the course are accessible to all learners, including those with disabilities. It is also very important. This may involve providing alternative formats for course content, such as audio, and video description and ensuring that course platform is fully accessible to user and disabilities. Overall, the development of online course for SWAM involves a collaborative efforts between subject matter experts and designers and technology experts. The goal is to provide high quality accessible and engaging course that meet the need of learners and provide lifelong learnings. So thus, uh, this it's my pleasure if it can share my experiences and work related to design MOOC course using this platform. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, Harshwadhanji, for your opening remarks. One of our experts, 
is driving way to his home. So he'll join shortly. Uh, now with the permission of the panelists, I declare the house open for questions. But before we start, I request all the participants to ask focused questions, which are directly related to this course. And please do not club two, three questions together. Ask every question separately. This session is being recorded for future reference purpose. Uh, now I request all the participants to put up their queries before the panelists. You may raise your hand. I'll call your name and then you can ask your question. If you have any question in mind related to how to uh, develop uh, proposal for offering online course for Swayam, uh, its coordinates, how to you know develop the course, how to offer it, you may ask. And even you can share your experiences also, since you are enrolled in this course. What is your experience and uh, your suggestions and feedback, how we can make this course better in the future cycles. Uh, you can also, uh, you know, type the question. You can type your question in the chat box also. Dr. Pandey, I think Dr. Uh, Ferdinand, he wants to ask some questions, so we may open it. Okay. Yes, I am the, uh, so what is your question? This is your introduction, I guess. So I be able to start a course in that sector? Hello? Can you are you a student, me? right? Uh, I am a student. I have cleared net. Okay. Um, I am doing my post-graduation in national security studies. Okay. I would like to start a course in the, like related to this subject. If you want to... How will I be able to... Yeah, uh, uh, let me answer. Uh, if okay. you, you you want to offer a, a course through Swayam, you need to be a faculty of a university okay. or a college, and in collaboration okay. with uh, you know some university faculty, you can offer this course. Because you know okay. uh, when a course is offered through Swayam, Swayam facilitates credit okay. mobility. So these credits are awarded by the university to which the uh, you know course coordinator uh, represents you know he belongs to so it is necessary for the course coordinator to be a part of a university or a autonomous college so uh, okay. dr uh, professor anirban goshev also joined us welcome professor anirban good evening good evening sir good evening i am traveling Welcome, welcome. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. We all can hear you. Uh, thank, thank you for sparing your time. I know you are traveling this time. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, we have started the yeah. you know live session. Uh, some of the questions you know we have we have uh, already uh, okay. we are trying to address. Uh, so uh, let's take the second question. Uh, Uh, a question from Dr. Gargi Roy Goswami. Is this open only to university faculty? Any scope for a private organization? Uh, Dr. Ashish, uh, would you like to address this question? 
Uh, Dr. Gargi, this is very uh, good question. So basically, uh, you should be, you know, the co uh, Swayam course can be offered, uh, Dr. Jitan Pandey said, so Swayam courses can be offered through the faculty of university, university or college, which have, you know, which has which is awarded, the, which has been given the power to give the degree. So any, uh, any university faculty can offer any particular course. If any private organization is there, so they have to collaborate with a particular university and then they can offer. Only thing is the, the teacher should have a five years experience. That is also there, no? The conditions. Yes. Uh, as such, you know, we, we don't have such uh, such provision uh, on writing, but it's, it's uh, I think- Every it's, national it's, coordinator have its own requirement. Yeah. I guess. Okay. Uh, I think, uh, Dr. P. V. Radhika want to ask question. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes, sir. I'm Dr. P. V. Radhika, sir. I'm from uh, Vijaywad, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in commerce from uh, Government Degree College. Okay. So actually, my question is like, uh, you are telling that uh, we should be aff affiliated to some university. Yeah. But I heard that even if I am working in college, I should be a part of the I mean, faculty in university. Is it right or can I do from the uh, as a faculty from the government college itself? I'm affiliated to one university called Krishna University, sir. Okay. So, so sh should I be a faculty of uh, Krishna University or as a faculty of government degree college, can I proceed with uh, uh, submitting the proposal for Swayam? See, at the end of the day, if you are an autonomous mm. college, then I think the situation is different. If you are not mm. autonomous, then yes. you must collaborate with a university faculty because, you know, that proposal mm. need to be rooted through the academic council of some university okay because sir. at the end of the day you have to award credits and credits yes, can be awarded yes. by university only so yes, you yes. Can be one of the you can be one of the expert you can mm. be one of the co-coordinator yes. uh, you can be you know one of the panelists but you know you cannot be course coordinator okay but one doubt is sir like if our university is not having that uh, uh, a scope for conducting this SWIM courses. Uh, can I go with another any other university? Yes, which yes, is yes. you can collaborate. Yes, as a co, I mean, as as a faculty. I mean, for See, doing this. As far as this, uh, you know, collaboration is concerned, this course is developed. Hello. Hello. He may he may be lost in. Uh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I think he lost his connectivity. We'll wait for some Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. See, as far as this collaboration is concerned, uh, Dr. Radhika, you can collaborate with any faculty mm. from the, the university. Not only from okay. the university, you can join with any other university also. Okay, ma'am. Uh -huh. Collaboration, you can offer the course. There is no problem. Ma'am, can yeah. Yes, ma'am. Continue, ma'am. Continue. I'll just ask afterwards. And Continue, ma'am. Even you can offer through, but the the uh, statutory appro approval from your in institution to the mm. university and the thing is, if they are approving and that approval mm. is considered by the national coordinator, that is well and good. You can offer. No okay, ma'am. Okay, and my doubt is, uh, like, uh, uh, what can we have that list of the universities or colleges who are in the, I mean, approved by this SWIM? Uh, is it available, ma'am, with the website? No, no. The, it, there is no list. You know that um, you can. Um, the only list is in the course wise list. You know, and the national coordinator wise list only will be there. Under okay, the national coordinator, you can select because oh. these all the selection of the national coordinator is on the basis of the course or the degree oh. which you are offering. For example, oh. diploma and uh, if you want to offer the, the diploma course and the, the mm. certificate course, you have to select IGNO. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So that that, so, that that is the difference uh, on your courses. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. 
So another question is like uh, when the uh, window will be open for new proposal for projects? Uh, Ashish, Dr. Ashish? Yeah. So Dr. Methley, uh, every every national coordinator have their own uh, process of, of uh, selecting the proposals. In case of IGNU, we are open throughout the year and uh, we accept uh, proposal throughout the year and whenever the committee uh, next upcoming committee meeting is there we put that proposal over uh, before that committee in case of other national coordinators I have, they have their own website and they they get they get proposals from through that website only and uh, they are also i think they UGC and CEC are also open throughout the year and, uh, and they can you submit your proposal to online or hard copy mode and they whenever they they put that proposal to the committee. Uh, sorry, there was an interruption in my internet connection, so I had to leave. Uh, any other questions? So I have uh, pasted one link um, in the chat box. So that is also uh, the proposal base for the UGC Swayam proposal link. So you can, Dr. Ratika and others, you can also go through that link. If you are if you want to submit the proposal to UGC, this is the link where you can go through that the condition availability, everything is there. You can use this link also. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Any other questions from the participants or otherwise you can share your experience, how the course is there, because you are going through the course, uh, the content of the course, you can share about the content of the course or how you are experienced. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, sorry for the interruption. I had to leave because uh, you do the unstable internet connection. Now I'm connected again. Uh, there is a question from Dr. Anil Kumar Prasad when the window will open for new proposals for project. I think this uh, question is already addressed. Uh, yeah, Dr. Pandey, it is addressed. Yeah. Any, uh, other question? Maybe you can give some suggestion to do this, uh, you know, course cycles, your feedback, and you know what type what type of content you you know you requ uh, really require to improve uh, your course, which is related to this course. You can ask. Dr. Pandey, uh, Dr. Rahul Sharma ka a question hai ki, sir, namaste, I course to complete kar diya hai, par exam nahi de paya. Kya exam form open honge? So, I think uh, Rahul ji, abhi exam form abhi January, uh, ye January uh, 2023 ka session chal raha hai. Iske nahi abhi exam form open nahi hoi hai. Mujhe lagta hai, may, may aayenge exam form, tab aap form bhar sakte. Uh, Dr. Anil Kumar, Dr. Anil Kumar, he is saying, can you please repeat? 
So his question was uh, like, uh, where is the window will open for new proposals of the project or uh, courses? So Dr. Anil, you know, uh, every national coordinator has their own processes. In case of uh, IGNU, we are open throughout the year. We accept the proposal throughout the year and we, you know, uh, what, whatever proposals we have received so far, what we do, we put them before the uh, uh, expert committee, uh, whenever the expert committee meeting is there. In case of other national coordinators, they are also almost, they are open and they also, they also have the same practice. They keep the proposal wherever, whenever you submit them and they put place them in uh, before the committee. So as such, there is no uh, timeline window, window opens and window closed. So you can, you know, you can get in touch with the national coordinator and you can submit. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, I think one more question, sir. Swayam certi course certificate valid hai ya nahi all India mein? And kya internship ka bhi koi criteria hoga kuch? So, uh, actually, uh, uh, these, uh, you know, this Swayam came to existence through a regulation, gadget notification, right? And as per the notification, every university, you know, which is a part of UGC, you know, they cannot deny the credit mobility. They have to honor credit mobility, you know, uh, the credits which are awarded through Swayam portal. Every university have to, you know, devise a mechanism and accept those credits. So it is valid throughout India. And Dr. Pandey, uh, internship, just... regarding internship, I, I don't, I mean, this is a portal, Swayam portal is for offering online course. So it is, it has nothing to do with internship directly, right? Yeah. So for internship, there are different portals. Uh, you know, you can go to the AICT websites or UGC websites. So internship is not related to this, but as far as uh, the, you know, validity of credit or degree is concerned, Every course, I mean, every credit that is uh, awarded through Swayam portal, they are honored by every university. They are bind, they are bound to accept those credits. Right? There is a process. I mean, uh, every semester, you know, a list from UGC is circulated to all the universities. And, you know, the program coordinators head or the university identify the equivalent courses, you know, that they are offering in Swayam and they have to publish that list in their website. As long as, you know, the syllabus is, you know, uh, matching and they have identified because every university have to declare, uh, you know, you, I will advise you, you check the website of the university you are, you know, a part of there must be a link which says uh, university approved MOOC list. This list contained all the, you know, equivalent courses that the university is offering, which are available on SWAM. As long as you, you know, complete that course, you earn this, uh, you know, credits after, you know, uh, giving the end term examination, you have to stay the process, you have to submit that uh, those credits to that university, and then they'll, you know, honor that. And sir, credit is I hope I have clarified. Yeah, I think, Dr. Pandey, credit I'll... can also be transferable. Yeah. yeah. And, I think and Dr. Uh, Dr. Ashish wanted, you know, add something. Yeah, Dr. Pandey, uh, I just add, like uh, during, uh, as per records of uh, June 2021, in across India, 330 universities have adopt, uh, have done the credit transfer for around 11,000 students. And uh, I would like to share that your course on cyber security that was one of the you know uh, top top uh, among the top course where the credit transfer uh, was you know uh, happened. Thank you, thank you, uh, Ashish ji, for uh, you know sharing uh, the, these stats. And uh, you know, it's a positive sign that you know Swaya movement is gaining ac acceptance now, right? Yes. 
initially i mean in the initial days the people used to enroll in the courses but you know uh, very less number of students uh, were opting for the end term examination yeah now i mean they are uh, opting for the credit mobility also even some of the students from our university you know they have applied for credit transfers See, uh, here I would like to add on to this one uh, here. See, there are there is a in the Swayam courses there is two different level. One is a student level, another one is a faculty level. Okay, the student level you said that the student can get the certificate from this uh, Swayam, and then uh, they can go for that credit transfer to get the, to earn the degree from the host university or from the parental university where they have. Uh, getting the degree and all. The another one is faculty. If the faculty is uh, two, two different one, the faculty is uh, doing some course, then also they will get the credit for their uh, promotion, API points and all. And if they are offering the course, then also they will get the points for their CAS and promotion. Uh, so clearly mentioned in that uh, seventh pay commission. So these all uh, for the faculty mm -hmm. side also, the benefit is there if they are offering as well as doing some soil courses. Any other question? You may raise your hand or you can type your question in the chat box. And if you are, you know, a part of this program, you have enrolled for this uh, MOOC on Swayam, you can also, you know, share your experiences. Even, I mean, you can ask your questions in Hindi also. You can ask your questions in Hindi. कोर्स प्रपोजल के बारे में फिर से एक बार बता दीजिए राहुल जी अभी चैट में डॉक्टर मैथिली ने एक लिंक भेजा है मैं लिंक को स्पेल कर दे रहा हूं इट इज स्वयं डॉट इनफ्लिप नेट डॉट ए सी डॉट इन जो स्वयं है स्वयं के आठ नेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर हैं ये नेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर वो किस विधा जिस डोमेन को रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं जैसे मैनेजमेंट के लिए आई एम बेंगलोर है सर्टिफिकेट एंड डिप्लोमा कोर्सेस के लिए इग्नू है इसी प्रकार यूजी uh, कोर्सेस के लिए सी सी है टेक्नोलॉजी uh, रिलेटेड कोर्सेस के लिए एनपीटीएल है uh, तो ये जितने भी नेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर हैं इनकी वेबसाइट पे अगर आप जाएंगे पहले आप स्वयं की वेबसाइट में जाइए आपको सारी लिस्ट दिख जाएगी नेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर कौन कौन है वहां से आपको उन नेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर की वेबसाइट मिल जाएगी आप वहां जाइए तो उनकी वेबसाइट में आपको कहीं ना कहीं ईओआई एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ऑनलाइन कोर्सेज फॉर स्वयं इससे मिलते जुलते टाइटल से कोई नोटिफिकेशन होगा उस नोटिफिकेशन में प्रोजेक्ट प्रपोजल का फॉर्मेट है तो सबसे पहले तो मैं आपको ये सलाह दूंगा कि आप उस फॉर्मेट को देखिए ताकि आपको पता लग जाए कि उस प्रपोजल को बनाने के लिए क्या क्या आपको एडवांस में चाहिए थोड़ा सा मैं आपको बता देता हूं सबसे पहले तो आपको भाई आइडेंटिफाई करना है कि किस कोर्स को आपने उसका मटेरियल बनाना है तो जिस कोर्स में आप बनाने में इंटरेस्टेड हैं तो सबसे पहले तो आप एक बार स्वयं में देख लीजिए कि वो कोर्स पहले से अवेलेबल तो नहीं है अगर वो कोर्स पहले से अवेलेबल है तो थोड़ा कम चांसेस हो जाते हैं कि गवर्नमेंट उसमें दोबारा इन्वेस्ट करे तो कोर्स यूनिक होगा तो उसके मिलने के ज्यादा चांसेस है नंबर एक नंबर दो आपकी यूनिवर्सिटी जिसके आप पार्ट हैं वो उस कोर्स को ऑफर आपके पास वो कोर्स ऑफर कर रहे हैं उसके बाद कुछ एक्सपीरियंस का है कि फैकल्टी को कितने साल का एक्सपीरियंस होना चाहिए अलग अलग नेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर्स के लिए अलग अलग है और जहां तक मेरा अपना नॉलेज कहता है इग्नू 
एक्सपीरियंस क्राइटेरिया इग्नू में नहीं है अभी तक तो नहीं था अब आ गया हो तो पता नहीं वरना सीई या किसी और के लिए आप जाएंगे तो कम से कम पांच साल का एक्सपीरियंस होना चाहिए उसके बाद आप जब प्रपोजल डेवलप करेंगे तो जो भी आप कोर्स सेलेक्ट कर रहे हैं जो यूजीसी का मॉडल करिकुलम है उससे मैच करना चाहिए क्योंकि जैसे हमने पहले बताया कि ये क्रेडिट मोबिलिटी होती है इसमें तो क्रेडिट मोबिलिटी अगर मैं कोई फिजिक्स का कोर्स कर रहा हूं या कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर का कोई कोर्स ऑफर कर रहा हूं दूसरी यूनिवर्सिटी उसको तभी ऑनर करेगी ना जब हमारा सिलेबस कम से कम कुछ हद तक मिलता हो सत्तर अस्सी प्रतिशत तक मिलता हो तो अगर मैं अपना कोर्स करिकुलम यूजीसी का जो मॉडल करिकुलम है उसके हिसाब से डेवलप करूंगा तो बहुत ज्यादा चांसेस है कि वो बहुत सारी यूनिवर्सिटी के जो कोर्स है वो सिमिलर कोर्स उसे 70-80 परसेंट मैच करे तभी क्रेडिट मोबिलिटी हो सकती है इसीलिए इसमें एक प्रोसेस है कि जब भी आप कोई कोर्स बनाते हैं यूजीसी उसको एडवर्टाइज करता है तो यूनिवर्सिटी अपने उस कोर्स के कंटेंट को जो स्वयं में जो कोर्स के कंटेंट है उससे मिलाती है तो बहुत एक ही कोर्स के बहुत सारे स्वयं के मुख्स हो सकते हैं तो यूनिवर्सिटी उस कोर्स को आइडेंटिफाई करती है जो उसके सिलेबस से सबसे ज्यादा क्लोजली मैच कर रहा हो तो ये तो मैंने आपको बताया कि किस तरह से आप सेलेक्ट करेंगे फिर अगली जो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट बात है कि आपको प्रोपोजल डेवलप करने के बाद उसके कुछ फील्ड है कि आपको आइडेंटिफाई करने पड़ेंगे कि आप कौन जैसे हर किसी कोर्स की एक रिक्वायरमेंट है कितने क्रेडिट का है पहले तो आपको ये डिसाइड करना पड़ेगा कि वो नॉन क्रेडिट कोर्स बना रहे हैं कि क्रेडिट कोर्स बना रहे हैं तो पर क्रेडिट पांच आवर्स के आपको आ, अगर मैं गलत नहीं हूं तो पांच आवर्स पर क्रेडिट आपको वीडियो बनाने पड़ते हैं तो नॉर्मली जो यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफर करती है कोर्स लगभग चार क्रेडिट के होते हैं तो चार क्रेडिट में यानी आपको बीस घंटे के उसके वीडियो कंटेंट बनाने पड़ेंगे उसके कुछ गाइडलाइंस दी हुई हैं गवर्नमेंट ने स्वयं के जो गाइडलाइन प्रपोजल की गाइडलाइन है उसमें मिल जाएगा आपको तो जरूरी नहीं कि वो 20 के 20 घंटे आप ही रिकॉर्ड करें आप उस फील्ड से रिलेटेड जो एक्सपर्ट्स हैं उनको आइडेंटिफाई कीजिए और जब आपको अगर ये प्रोजेक्ट प्रपोजल आप जब जमा कर रहे हैं और अगर अगर आपको आपका प्रपोजल एक्सेप्ट हो जाता है तो शायद फोर क्रेडिट के कोर्स के लिए थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स रुपीज आपको नेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर देता है उसको डेवलप करने के लिए तो जो कोर्स आप बना रहे हैं किसी और एक्सपर्ट को एंगेज कर रहे हैं उसको रिमेशन मिलेगा लगभग दस हजार रुपए पर घंटा ऑन एन एवरेज उसको कोर्स कंटेंट के डेवलपमेंट का मिलता है तो ये ठीक है आप आपने एक्सपर्ट आइडेंटिफाई कर लिया आपने मॉड्यूल आइडेंटिफाई कर लिया और और भी बहुत सारी चीजें हैं लेकिन जो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है जब आप प्रपोजल बना लेंगे इट शुड बी रूटेड थ्रू योर एकेडमिक काउंसिल आप अपनी यूनिवर्सिटी के एकेडमिक काउंसिल में उस प्रपोजल को पुटअप करेंगे और वहां से उनसे अप्रूवल लेंगे कि अब ये कोर्स स्वयं पोर्टल में ऑनलाइन माध्यम से हम भेज रहे हैं हम ऑफर करेंगे तो जो बच्चे इसका एंड टर्म एग्जामिनेशन देंगे और इसके क्रेडिट जिसको सर्टिफिकेट स्वयं देगा उसको यूनिवर्सिटी क्रेडिट क्योंकि यूनिवर्सिटी ही क्रेडिट दे सकती है उनको अपनी एकेडमिक काउंसिल में एक रेजोल्यूशन पास करना पड़ेगा और प्रपोजल के साथ आपको आपका जो यूनिवर्सिटी के रजिस्ट्रार है उनसे एक एनओसी लगानी पड़ती है जो कि ये कहती है कि अगर ये कोर्स एक्सेप्ट होगा और बच्चे इसको करेंगे तो हम क्रेडिट इसको अवॉर्ड करेंगे तो ये प्रपोजल जाएगा जो भी नेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर आपके डोमेन से मैच करता है जैसे कि आशीष जी ने बताया कि सारे प्रपोजल जनरली सारे नेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर थ्रू आउट द ईयर खुले रहते हैं प्रपोजल उनके कोई डेडलाइन है माना उन्होंने साल में दो बार सोचा है कि जनवरी में एक बार करेंगे हम जुलाई में करेंगे तो जुलाई तक के जो भी आएंगे किसी वक्त भी वो जुलाई तक आज तक की डेट तक जब हमें मिले उन्होंने जुलाई तक में मीटिंग कॉल कर दी जुलाई के बाद जो मिला वो जनवरी में कर दी तो इस, ये इसका प्रोसेस है ये मैंने थोड़ा शॉर्ट में आपको बताया बाकी आपका कोई स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन है तो आप पूछ सकते हैं आई होप आई हैव आंसर्ड योर क्वेरी हेलो सर यस हाँ सर जैसे अभी आपने बताया कि हमें अपने यूनिवर्सिटी का कंसर्न लेटर लेना पड़ेगा जी तो हम जिस यूनिवर्सिटी में पढ़ा रहे हैं वहाँ का कंसर्न लेटर तो ले लेंगे हम क्वेश्चन हाँ. ये था कि सपोज कीजिए कि हम किसी और यूनिवर्सिटी का भी कंसर्न लेटर लेकर अप्लीकेशन कर सकते हैं क्या कोलैबोरेशन में आप कोर्स बना सकते हैं दूसरी यूनिवर्सिटी है तो दूसरी यूनिवर्सिटी के क्योंकि देखिए कोलैबोरेशन की क्यों जरूरत है उस 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 यूनिवर्सिटी के फैकल्टी से क्योंकि दूसरी यूनिवर्सिटी में अगर वहां का कोई मेंबर नहीं होगा तो आपकी प्रपोजल को रूट कैसे करे होगा वो अगर आपके पास कोई ऐसा मैकेनिज्म है कि वहां वो रूट हो जाए 
ठीक है दूसरे इंडस्ट्री से भी कर सकते हैं वरना आइडियली आप दो एक कोऑर्डिनेटर एक को कोऑर्डिनेटर होकर दो लोग कोलैबोरेट करके भी कोर्स ऑफर कर सकते हैं ओके ओके थैंक यू सर मतलब प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटी से भी हम ये कंसर्न कर सकते हैं ना यूजीसी से एफिलिएटेड हो ये इंपॉर्टेंट है प्राइवेट okay. नहीं देंगे ऐसा तो कंसर्न नहीं है कहीं पे भी अच्छा अच्छा ओके थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर एनी अदर क्वेश्चन आई होप आई हैव आंसर्ड योर क्वेश्चन सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर सर इससे रिलेटेड ये क्वेरीज काफी हैं मुझे लगता है कि जो प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटी हैं क्या वो कोर्स डेवलप कर सकती हैं जी हाँ मतलब प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटी भी डेवलप कर सकती हैं इसमें कोई दो राय नहीं कि वो नहीं कर पाएंगी एक और क्वेश्चन है हाउ टू फाइंड फैकल्टी कोर्स पोर्टल फैकल्टी कोर्स पोर्टल आई थिंक इनका क्वेश्चन ये एफ से रिलेटेड है अर्पित अर्पित के बारे में डॉक्टर मैथिली आप अगर कुछ बता पाए इफ आई एम अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस क्वेश्चन पुट अप बाय प्रोफेसर हेतल भट्ट यस फॉर एफ डी पी देर इज अ पोर्टल कॉल अर्पित द लिंक इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड स्वयं पोर्टल लेट मी चेक डॉक्टर पांडे यस arpit courses were offered uh, you know for the faculty development program uh, until 2018 but okay. as of now those courses are not open maybe okay. in while they will open but still uh, if you want to do some fdp courses so you go to aict mooc courses in as a national okay. coordinator aic they have they are offering some fdps uh, self paced courses are there so mm. from there you can do five uh, fdp so they are self paced courses you can enroll at any time and as per your uh, pace and place you can study and complete that fdp yes i i, yeah, I was just going through the swayam portal uh, the courses are not listed there but the link yeah. is available under link the name available. carpet yeah. तो जो भी प्रोग्राम है आल्सो नीटर कोर्सेस नीटर आल्सो एनआईएटीआर दे आर आल्सो ऑफरिंग एफडीपी प्रोग्राम्स दे देयर आर दे आल्सो वन ऑफ द नेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर वेयर यू कैन फाइंड सम एफडीपी देयर इवन इन इन द स्वयं पोर्टल अंडर एनपीटीएल यू नो सम ऑफ द कोर्सेस दैट आर ऑफर्ड बाय एनपीटीएल देयर इज अ स्पेसिफिक कॉलम व्हिच सेस that is this program approved as mdp yes or no so when uh, you know uh, there is a specific column uh, mentioned there whether that program is recognized uh, as fdp or not so you can explore that list also under swayam if you select the national coordinator nptel and you individually check uh each course that you are interested there is a specific uh you know tag which mention that whether this course is recognized as an fdp in the, you know technical colleges or not because nptel is mostly concerned with the technology and management technology related courses technology and basic science related courses so you can explore the swayam portal you will find definitely find some links there uh professor hetel i hope i have answered your query i have given here i am um, sending you one link where you can see this this course is fdp course like that you can Uh, see this. This is for the course writing. Uh, sorry, re uh, report writing. How to write the report and all academic uh, research report writing. The course on academic research. Uh, so that is uh, yeah FTP program, academic and research report writing. So like that you can find many courses uh, FTP courses. Dr. Pandey, one more question here. There is a we have missed something. Please, how to proceed for MOOC courses? MOOC MOOC course to upload lecture. Please share link. I mean, what he is asking, like uh, Dr. Rohit. Dr. Rohit. It's available on the chat box. And one more, ah, uh, uh, one more question also available here. Yeah. 
two, three questions. Okay. Uh, Rohit, Mr. Rohit, uh, there is a question from Mr. Rohit. Please, how to proceed for MOOC courses to upload lecture? Please share link. Actually, you know, if I am understanding your question correctly, you want the link, how to, you know, upload the course. If the link is provided by the national coordinator once your, you know, course is approved and it is vetted after, you know, <clears throat> it is approved by the national coordinator, then they will <clears throat> provide the admin of the portal will provide you the credential. They will provide the national uh, necessary training on how to, you know, upload courses, course content on this course builder platform. Right. So this process is only required when your course is accepted. So how to, excuse me, sir, how to proceed like through the national coordinators, we can assess like I am Bangalore for management. I am, my okay. area is management. Your area is management. So management I can and, suggest uh, to you three national coordinators. <clears throat> One is IMB. Uh, okay, I'll share the link of the all the you know national coordinators who are part of uh, this Swayam movement. So you can explore. So I mean, IGNU is also offering some of the management related courses. CEC is offering undergraduate level management courses, and national coordinator for management related courses is handled by IMB. I have, you know, sent you a link where the details of all the national coordinators is present. You can click on the link of IMB, IGNU, and CEC, and check for the, you know, uh, area they are, area, I mean, courses they are looking for. In case of CEC, they have specifically identified the courses they are interested in for development. So some of the you know national coordinates have specifically specified in their website which courses they are looking for, and otherwise you can you know the email ID or the contact details of the national coordinator is given you know is present on their website. You can send an email to them and you can you know share the details of the courses you are interested, and I mean, I'm sure they'll respond. Uh, excuse me, sir. With regard to training and development, uh, the courses of training and development, training and development, uh, what coordinator, which coordinator we can consult? I mean, your domain is management? <clears throat> yes, my PhD in training and development, management, uh, design thinking, personality no, so development. The, I mean, I mean, the, uh, I think Dr. Ashish has already shared the link. Yeah, I have shared the link this. of IIM uh, uh, IIM Bangalore. So they are the national coordinator for Swayam. So I have uh, shared the link for uh, uh, submitting the proposal at IIM US. Uh, Dr. Mohit, uh, uh, Rohit, uh, first of all, you have to identify your course. Um, I mean, the course title, the content and all. And then after that, you have to go through all these website and then you select, uh, I mean, appropriate uh, national coordinator, prepare the proposal and submit to them. And then once they will accept it, then you can offer. Like as Dr. Pandey mentioned that you can go with the IIM Bangalore CEC and also IGNO. IGNO, if you want to offer any diploma or uh, certificate courses through or courses on management, then you can um, um, connect with IGNO. Um, that is also fine. Once your proposal and everything is accepted, then you can proceed for other aspects. There is Hello. one more question uh, in the chat box by Seema Raniji. Good evening, everyone. My question is, how much is the time limit for MOOC course? I mean, if your question is related to the time limit of, you know, time given to you uh, for development of course, 
I think it's around three months. And if your question is related to the you know time limit given to the, I mean related to the duration of course, normally a four credit course runs for fourteen weeks, twelve to fourteen weeks. If you can cl uh, clarify your question, we'll be you know glad to answer it. Otherwise, I have covered both the aspects. Normally, three months time for the development and a four credit course is ar around 12 to 14 weeks duration from the student point of view. Okay, Dr. Pandey, some, some are asking that for subject history, for forensic science. So basically, if you are going for, you know, uh, UG level course, like in case of history, if you are going for UG level course, you have to go to uh, CEC. If you are going for PG level course, you have to go to UGC. In case of some uh, uh, some participants have asked that I want to apply for forensic chemical science. So chemical science, if it is a related to UG level, again, you have to go to CEC, PG level, you can go to UGC. You, it may be if it is related to you know some sort of engineering, you can uh, go to NPTEL also. NPTEL also, because NPTEL is also yeah. offering some basic science courses also. Yes. Then again, one, one question from Dr. Sarita Singh is that for subjects of PPTs in Hindi is acceptable or not? So yes, as such, if your, may I say, if, if your medium of instruction is in, is in Hindi, so that you can put that content in Hindi also. So as such, there is no restriction. There is no for, restriction, I guess, uh, from, from the even, language even, point of view. Even Dr. Dr. Pandey, we are uh, not only we, all national coordinator, they are, are you know promoting the courses in regional languages. So in case of IGNU, we are offering now courses in Assamese, and we are also courses in other regional languages also. So regional languages courses are you know most welcome. Do we have to explain the explain the course study material development initially? No, uh, there is a question from Dr. Ranjit. Uh, he has a question that I mean, do we have to ex you know pay the expenses from our own pocket? No, that is not the case. Once your you know uh, proposal is accepted, uh, advance is transferred from the national coordinator to your university. And you can, you know, take care of your expenses through that fund. It is awarded in the project node. So you are the, you know, PI and you are responsible for, you know, spending the amount as per the guidelines given by SWAM. So you don't have to, uh, you know, spend from your pocket. Any other question? Uh, one question is there is UGC net qualified will be sufficient for acceptance of my proposal. <laughs> Actually, I have also gone through that question, but I mean, I, we have already answered that question that you need to be a faculty of a university or an autonomous college or a private university. To, I mean, UGC net is not the qualification that is acceptable as uh, you know, by the board as by SWAM to qualify as a course coordinator. You need to be a faculty, right? Any other question? The recording of this, you know, session is available. We'll, I mean, I'll share the link with you. It is available on YouTube also. If you have missed some questions or, you know, you, you think that you will, you know, you will forget the answer. I mean, the video will be provided to you for your future reference. Don't worry about that. Any other question? No questions?
So I think it's now we can wind up the session now uh, with your permission. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, it's very nice session for us and informative. Thank you. Any feedback from the participants? How this session yes. was about this session? It was very informative, sir. I really personally like this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So let's wind up now. It's time for vote of thanks. Uh, dear panelists and participants, on behalf of the organizing team, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to all the panelists and participants who took their time and joined us today for this live discussion forum. Dr. Anirban Ghosh, Dr. Maithili, Dr. Ashish, Harshwardhan ji and Monika ji from Simka, thank you uh, for, your, uh, for your presence and sharing your valuable insights and expertise with us. Your presence has indeed made this session highly informative and interactive. To all the participants, thank you for your active participation and for, your, for sharing your queries. I hope that the discussion today has cleared any doubts or questions that you had regarding developing online courses for Swaya. I also want to thank the entire organizing team for their hard work and dedication in planning and executing this live discussion session. Once again, thank you all the panelists and participants for making this session a great success. We hope to have continued support in our future endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Pandey, and thanks all the participants and panelists. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.